Hi friends, um, here we have done a hardware software code design for data flow graphs and control flow graphs for some um, examples. Uh, this was done by uh, Shavya Meda, Kadiala Elizabeth, Basani Revati. Uh, first we will talk about hard, uh, what is data flow graph and control flow graph. Data flow graph. Flow of data in graphical repre representation form gives a modern style in presenting the program statements. The syntax and semantics of data flow graph provides the opportunity to explore their efficiency in field of synthesis and verification of architecture system. The execution of operations on the nodes take place through firing rule makes data flow graph reliable in terms of some parallel executions. This paper presents the data flow graph format on the basis of different nodes used in various loop construct, construct conditions of a program. The schematically analysis of nodes are explained with the help of examples. Uh, data flow graph provides the efficient way to present the given program in simple graphical manner. The user is easily understand and interact for every possible input and output by using token based mechanism. This is the synthesis done with the help of graphical view of data flow graph provides many alternative ideas and implementation designs for particular program in a simple manner. Uh, control flow graph. The, these are used for global optimizations. The nodes of a flow graph are basic blocks. There is an initial node S in every flow graph. The node S corresponds to the basic block diagram where lead in the first statement. An, art, an artificial signal entry node can be created in there are multiple entries. There is an architecture from node 1 to node n if the basic block diagram associated to n to b2 can be immediately followed at execution time the basic block diagram associated with n1 and b1. This is simple concept how we can draw the control flow graph with the help of nodes. That is if there, there is a conditional or unconditional gem from b1 to b2 or immediately flow from b1 in the original order of the program and b1 does not end in a unconditional gem. Based on the conditional uh, gems, the control flow graph will uh, run. Uh, definition, a flow graph is a tri triple G is equals to n comma a comma s where n and a is a finite directed graph and there is a path from the initial node s. X belongs to n to every node. Any node unreachable from s can be deleted without loss of generality. Examples for data flow graph and control flow graph. Uh, first we will talk about ATM. How ATM works with the help of data flow graph. Here we have taken uh, main blocks as customer, security check, bank database, view balance, withdraw, deposit funds. Based on these five, uh, these six nodes, uh, the flow of uh, data will be uh, explained. Uh, with the, uh, Customer is the main point. With the help of customer database, then we will go to security check in the sense enter our PIN code and it will go to the bank database. The bank database in the sense our details which will be stored in the bank. And with the security check, again it will go to the view balance. View balance in uh, view balance in the sense it will show how what if you select a balance inquiry, it will show the balance how much is present in your account. Withdraw. Withdraw will show how much amount you want to draw. Deposit funds. If any deposits are required, you can with the help of this block we can deposit our funds. Next, uh, ATM. Uh, how control flow graph works for the ATM. Uh, this is a small simple example how the control flow graph works with the help of these nodes. With the help of these nodes, we can uh, we can say how the ATM will work. A B uh, A is less than X. X in the sense here amount. Uh, when B and C, with the help of these comparisons, the flow of control will be uh, executed on the ATM. This is how the ATM work in control flow graph and data flow graph. Vending machine. Uh, vending machine uh, here we have taken five main nodes that is ideal count, count coin given change dispense select soda select soda something else whatever example you want you can keep it 
idea ideal means in the sense the mission will be ideal until unless the person who comes to activate the mending mission with the help of this ideal will proceed to further if we give coins it will count in a count mission uh if it is any change is required back to the customer then give ex give change uh will be enabled and from this uh, with this help we can get back our change back uh if any dispense is there it will be set at defaultly and finally we'll move on to the uh, selection sort of selection sort of in the sense what item you have want you can select with the help of uh options which is present in the vending machine like option 1 uh, soda option 2 biscuit like example so on uh this is how control program is explained with the for the uh, vending machine uh data flow graph uh, data flow graph for the vending machine first we will enter our money uh it will check the money uh if it is any refundable amount is any refund is present then it will move on to the refund money or else it move on to the check product availability whether our product is available in the uh vending machine or or not will be checked in the check product availability with the help of this it will give this uh, dispense change or dispense product if it is any change is is available it will move to that or else our product will be delivered with the help of this uh, dispense product this is how data flow graph will work for the con uh, vending machine the remaining four, four examples will be explained by my friends elizabeth uh, karyala and basani revathi Uh, this is Elizabeth. Uh, I am explaining about anti-lock uh, braking system. Uh, anti-lock braking system. It is for vehicles uh, where uh, it's called as ABS. Automatic uh, braking uh, bra uh, braking system for the uh, automotive mobiles. It controls the uh, uh, wheels uh, speed uh, using uh, reduced hydraulic pressure. increase hydraulic pressure uh, vehicle will depend uh, on this reduce hydraulic pressure and increase hydraulic pressure to move the vehicle faster at slower uh, this is next uh, th this is automated uh, tool booth okay here uh, the image uh, is captured first then the uh, then the verification of the register user is checked and then uh, if it is um, if the if the balance is there if it goes to balance or it terminates from there it uh, it goes to uh, toll charge and balance information <laughs> to the open gate here uh, this online shopping uh, will be explained by bhasani revathi uh, this is the online shopping system here the this is the data flow graph how oh, it is data this is a data flow graph uh, here uh, the customer is processing uh, the online order how the cu customer is processing the step by step procedure is shown in this data flow uh, diagram first the customer uh, uh, process the order means he uh, he just uh, checks the order Cust uh, he uh, the information of uh, about the order is given in the process order then uh, uh, the acknowledgement is given by the customer whether to take a order or not then uh, it sent to the customer database whether the product is available or not from there it moves to uh, payment uh, after the database of the customer given like address and uh, name and everything then uh, it moves to the verify uh, verifying the credit card then uh, it asks the uh, credit card details like credit card company it verifies with the credit card company 
uh, then it moves to the shopping or uh, th then when the money is paid for the order it moves to the shop uh, shopping over uh, and the confirmation of the uh, customer will be given by the de delivery report this uh, this is the data flow diagram and now we will explain about the uh, control flow how the control flow will be for the same online shopping uh, here uh, there is a seller uh, administrator uh, there is a website for a seller administrator and uh, it is controlled by a, a website management from there a website management information is given from the website and there will be a data website database present uh, from there uh, there will be a view website information from where we can order or we can uh, sell uh, where the visitors like uh, customers can uh, acknowledge them and they can get the information from the view website information from there uh, we can uh, register and update our personal de details where our database the users database will be saved in the website management uh, so that uh, we, we can uh, use uh, use our database at any time or anywhere we can from there uh, it moves to the user management to the customer customer has a chance now to order uh, order a product from the uh, online uh, he can he can sell the product and he can he can uh, purchase the product uh, and he is having an option to uh, keep it in a cart and select the other product and again uh, he uh, he is having a chance to purchase the product from the online Hi, I am Revati and I am going to explain about the cruise control system uh, in cars, DFG, how the sensor scan the processor, it will monitor the GPS and monitor the UI, then monitor the U brakes, we can monitor the accelerometer based on the accelerometer sensor and monitor the engine based on the engine sensor uh, these are uh, controlled by using cruise controller the compute it computes the speed adjustments it records the speed uh, compute speed Based on the current speed, it can record the speed and uh, it can clear the speed. The output to, to throttle, it, it is based on the throttle actuate, actuator. The speed, uh, get speed process by using the um, all these sensors and uh, compute speed management based on the cruise controller and uh, computation speed, record speed, clear speed that's it this is how we will exp uh, we have explained uh, all the examples um, for the data flow graph and control flow graph uh, we thought that you have something you have gained some knowledge thank you thank you